The NASCAR Xfinity Series race is officially concluded for Martinsville, and we see Eric Armroll put up a dominating clinic, but have to earn the win and get his first Xfinity win of 2024. What's going on, guys? It's Daniel, and welcome back to the video. I just got done watching NASCAR Xfinity Series race from Martinsville, the Dew Wide 250. We got quite a bit to talk about from this race. Let's go and talk about it. So before the race started, a ton of drivers would have to drop the rear of the field. This included Justin Allgaier, Sammy Smith, Brandon Jones, Akiner Regatta, Leland Honeyman, Ryan Ellis, and even the Pulse like I said, Brandon Jones would have to start at the rear of the field. So because of that, at the start of the race, he had Cole Custer lead the field from the outside with Sheldon Creed on the inside. And Sheldon Creed got a really, really strong drive off of turn number two and was able to clear Sheldon Creed and take the race lead. The first cross race came out lap number 10 when Dexter being spun. Sammy Smith sent it really hard into the corner and caused the caution there. A little early to be making that move. Gets into Dexter being spins him out, brings the yellow out. So then on the next race, story, Cole Custer lead the field from the inside and Sheldon Creed on the outside. And Cole Custer got a fantastic restart and was able to clear Sheldon Creed for the race lead. Eventually, Eric Omroll was jumping up to the front. His car started coming in, would get around Cole Custer. He started battling really hard for the lead. And on lap 28, Eric Omroll was able to take the race lead. Then on lap number 36, his second caution of the race came out for Brennan Poole, who turned Haley Deegan going off of turn number two, and Kyle Weatherman had nowhere to go and was collected in that. To me, that was on Brennan Poole, hit the corner a little bit. Some were blaming Haley Deegan, including the broadcast. I can't really blame Haley for that situation in that front. She needs to run a little better, so she's not in those positions. But still, she got a lot of damage, and I thought her race is over. Luckily, it wasn't over for her at the time. So during his caution, all the junior motorsports cars will come down pit road. Carson Quaffle, Sammy Siff, Justin Allgaier, Brandon Jones all came down pit road while the rest leader stayed out. So then on the race start, Eric Omroll lead the field from the inside and Cole Custer on the outside. And Eric Omroll got a fantastic restart and was able to clear for the lead. Eric Omroll, though, near the end of stage number one, had a really, really big challenge from Sheldon Creed. But Sheldon Creed could not get around. And coming off the final corner, Eric Omroll will win stage number one after a really good battle. So then, under the caution, Sam Mayer, Sammy Smith, Justin Allgaier, Brandon Jones, and Carson Quaffle all stayed out while the rest leaders came down pit road. Unfortunately, Riley Herbst got an uncontrolled tire, though for some reason he didn't drop to the rear, and Park Clareman got a speeding penalty. So then on the restart, you have Sam Mayer lead the field from the inside and Sammy Smith on the outside, and they got a good jump. But then the big one would strike when Brandon Jones missed a shift coming down the front straightaway and caused a massive stack up, bringing a lot of cars involved, including Anthony Alfredo, Logan Bearden, Haley Deegan, AJ Allmendinger, Austin Hill was collected in that. Corey Heim, Kyle Seek, Parker Redstaff, Lee Honeyman, Jeremy Clemens, Kyle Weatherman, and Dexter Bean were all caught up in the wreck. Just a bad shift, unfortunately, for Brandon Jones makes a mistake on the restart, and no one had anywhere to go. Unfortunately, would end drivers like Almendinger and Heim's decks were ruined. Unfortunately, same with, uh, of course, Austin Hill, who had a top 10 streak going in the night. It ruined the night for a lot of people. Because of that, they would have to red flag the race. So then on the next restart, you had Sammy Smith lead the field from the inside with Sam Mayer on the outside. And Sam Mayer got a fantastic restart, but eventually Sam, Sammy Smith got a great run and was able to clear for the lead. Then on lap 85, the next caution race came out when Park Clergyman spun from 29th position after suffering some damage in a big incident. And unfortunately, he had a flat left front tire bringing the caution out. So then on the next race, sorry, Sammy Smith lead the field from the inside with Sam Mayer on the outside. And Sam Mayer got a really, really strong restart and was able to almost clear for the lead, but would hit the curb and dropped a lot of positions back and we thought he had a flat tire. And Sammy Smith continued to dominate. But Justin Allgaier got a really, really strong run eventually on lap 112. Got the Sammy Smith's back bumper. They were side by side for a few laps. But eventually Justin Allgaier was able to get the lead with nine laps to go. He pulled out to about a second lead. And coming out the final corner, Justin Allgaier would win stage number two. So then all leaders would then come down pit road with Eric Amaral winning the race off of pit road. Justin Allgaier unfortunately had a slow piss up and dropped back to fifth. And Taylor Gray unfortunately got penalized for being over the wall too soon. So then on the next restart, you had Eric Amaral lead the field from the inside with Sam Smith on the outside. And Eric Amaral got a fantastic restart and was able to clear for the lead. And then with 71 or 80 laps to go, we had a caution for debris in turn number three. Looked like some sort of hose or something was off one of the cars. That brought the caution out. So during his caution, Parker Klergerman decided to stay out while the rest leaders came down pit row. And Eric Omroll won the race off pit row. 
So then on the restart, you have Parker Quarterman leading the field from the inside with Eric Armroll on the outside, and Eric Armroll got a fantastic run and was able to clear Parker Quarterman for the race lead. Then we saw some really good racing up front. Chandler Smith tried to get a really, really strong run again in the second position. They were having some good fun. But with 55 laps to go in the race, Garrett Smith was spin from 26th position after looking like he might have had a flat tire, spun in turn number one, bringing the caution out. During the caution, Parker Quarterman would then come down pay road and put on scuff tires. So then on the next restart, he had Eric Amaral lead the field from the inside and Chandler Smith on the outside. And there was some really good racing side by side between Eric Amaral and Chandler Smith. They battled very, very hard, had some good racing up there. And actually Chandler Smith got the lead for a second and dropped back a little bit, but Eric Amaral was able to clear. Then Chandler Smith jumped down in front of Sheldon Creed. There was some side by side contact for a few laps. Meanwhile, also Shane Van Gisbergen got in the back of Jeb Burton and sped up. Then we saw some fantastic racing between Chandler Smith and Sheldon Creed once again for second position. They went up the racetrack, though, and allowed Sam Mayer to get into third position. And then with 17 laps to go, the race would entirely change. Ryan Sieg, unfortunately, was spinning in turn number one from 15 position. After hitting the outside wall, got a ton of damage, and sadly spun out, bringing the caution out. So then on the restart, you had Eric Amaral lead the field from the inside with Chandler Smith on the outside. And Eric Amaral got a fantastic restart and was able to clear for the lead. But actually, Chandler Smith, he got a great run on the restart and was able to pass Eric Amaral for the lead. But with nine laps to go, we saw some great racing. And then Eric Amaral did the bump and run coming into turn number three and moved Chandler Smith up the racetrack, taking the race lead. Then the next lap, Sam Mayer, he runs in the back of Eric Amaral, entered turn number two and was able to pass Eric Amarola for the race lead in turn number three. But then the final caution race would come out when Jeb Byrne looked like he had a flat tire. He spun off a of turn number four and a couple drivers got collected, including Matt Benedetto, my center, Kyle Sieg, and Jeremy Clemish. Just nowhere to go for any of those drivers. Unfortunately, Jeb Byrne looked like he had a flat tire. So then on the final restart, you had Sam Mayer on the inside and Eric Amarola on the outside. There was some fantastic racing. Sheldon Creek tries to send it three wide to the inside under Sam Mayer and gets the race lead for a second. But then Eric Amarola, he's able to get up front and he's able to pass and get the race lead. And as they come to the white flag, Eric Amarola was able to take the lead and was able to have the lead on there. As they went to turn number one, Riley Hurst spun up the racetrack, just wrecked his on his own, spun into turn number one. Because of that, the race would end under caution, and Eric Amaral would come out the final corner, would win the Dash for Cash, pick up his first Xfinity Series win of the 2024 season, and picks up his, fifth, I believe, his fifth career NASCAR Xfinity Series victory. I think this is probably the most deserved win that Eric Amaral's probably had in his NASCAR Xfinity Series career. He dominated the race, led 150 or 160 laps, was in a position all night. I picked him coming this race because I knew that the 20 car was really strong last year with John Hunter Nemechek, and I thought Eric Amaral was going to get it done tonight. He finally is able to get the win. He was, was able to finish the race this time in a 20. It feels surreal to see him win in that 20 car. We all know the story of what happened in 2007. I'm so happy for Eric Amaral. A well-deserved win, in my opinion, and picks up his first win of 2024. I expect him to win a few more races throughout the year. He's had the pace this year. He was really strong at Richmond. Congratulations, Eric Amaral, on picking up the win. A well-deserved victory. He had the best car all night long. So now we're going to take a look at the race results. I'll give my score and thoughts on today's race. So Eric Amaral picks up the victory. Sam Mayer finished the second. Finally a race that goes his way. He had a fantastic car all night long, ran top five and top ten. There were times where he looked to be a little bit quicker than Eric Amarola. But to finish second, he needed this good run tonight and gets a very special top five finish. Great run for Sam Mayer. Chandler Smith finished his third. Had to start at the rear, methodically moved up to the front, and looked like like last week he was potentially going to be Eric Amarola, but he unfortunately doesn't get it done tonight, but still continues a really strong start to the season. Finished his third. Great run for Chandler Smith. Carson Quaffle finished his fourth. He was one of his stand-up performances. Ran top five and top ten all night long. I thought he was going to be a contender for the win. He at times was faster than Eric Amarola in this race. Still the finish inside the top five. You got to be really happy if you are a Carson Quaffle fan. I really hope there's more race in play for this kid because I think he's got a lot of potential to go out there and succeed. Great run for Carson Quaffle in his debut in fourth place. Justin Allgaier finished his fifth great run for him. I saw a comeback after bad pit stop issues. He had a fast car. Unfortunately, the picker cost him a shot at the win. He finished his fifth. 
Charlotte Cree finished the six, ran top five and top ten all night long. A much needed run for this team. Unfortunately, he choked the chance of winning the race, but still, he does get a top ten. Pretty good night for Sheldon Cree in sixth place. Sammy Smith finished seventh, ran top ten all night long, also led some laps in the race. Great run for Sammy Smith in seventh. Cole Custer finished eighth, was good in the beginning, struggled a little bit at the end, but for him to finish in the top ten, solid performance, all things considered. Jesse Love finished ninth. He struggled on the long run, but on the short run, his car was really, really good. But just another top 10 for finish for Jesse Love. Saw a run for him. And Josh Williams finally picks up a top 10. He had a good night. Ran top 10, top 15 most evening. Definitely got some positions at the end, but still a top 10 run. Great run for Josh Williams. Shane Van Gisbergen finished his 11th. Very solid performance for SVG tonight. Struggled in the beginning. Started around 15th in the race. Fell back a little bit. We're going to have a video talking about his performance. But a top 11, another top 15 form. I thought he was going to get a top 10 tonight. 11th is still a really good run for Shane Van Gisbergen. Park Klergerman finishes 12th. Decent comeback for him after getting involved in multiple incidents and wrecks. Solid performance in 12th for him. Taylor Gray finished 13th. Not as good a run as he had at Richmond, but a top 15 is not bad, all things considered, in 13th. Brendan Poole finished 14th, another top 15 run for this 44 team. They've had some races that have not gone their way the last couple weeks, but the finish in the top 15, good night for him. Anthony Freda finished 15th, should have gotten a better finish, ran top 10 most in the evening, unfortunately fell back at the end. Still a top 15 is a nice run for this five organization, good top 15. Blaine Perkins finished 16th, saw a run for him. Ryan Seek finished 17th. Haley Deegan finishes 18th. Great comeback for her. She didn't have a car that was going to go out for the win, but I certainly thought she was potentially going to get a top 20 in this race. She needed a good run. She's been struggling in the points. She just needs to finish these races. And for her to get a top 20 18th, nice comeback for her. My center finished 19th. Good to see him in Xfinity once again. Dexter Bean finished 20th. Matt Benedetto finished 21st. Kind of struggled in the middle portion of this race, then got damage at the end. Still does get a 21st place finish. That's going to help this 38 team, all things considered. Jeremy Clemens finished 22nd. Kyle Seek finished 23rd. Dawson Cramp finished 24th. Riley Hurts, after getting wrecked on the last lap, he finished 25th. Ryan Ellis finished 26th. Brandon Jones finished 27th after being involved in the late wreck. Joey Gase finished 28th. Garrett Smithley finished 29th. Logan Bearden finishes 30th. Lily Honeyman finished 31st. Jeb Byrne, after crashing out, finished 32nd. Kyle Weatherman finished 33rd. Austin Hill finished 34th. Corey Hyde finishes 35th. AJ Allmendinger finished 36th. Parker Ressa finishes 37th. And finishing last in 38th place is Akinori Ogata. So now let's talk about the overall race as a whole and to give my score and thoughts on tonight's race. I thought this race was very entertaining. There was a lot of battles for the lead at points. There was a lot of great side-by-side -side racing. It wasn't as chaotic as the Truck Series race last night, and there was definitely passing available to be. I expected this race to be really good. It wasn't perfect by any stretch of imagination. I do think that with that big wreck to happen, I think everyone kind of cooled their jets a little bit. There were a lot of cautions, sure, but I thought the night's race was overall very, very solid and really, really fun. He had a great finish. The battle, especially with 7-8 to go between Smith, Mayer, and Almirola was really fun to watch. I'm given tonight's NASCAR Xfinity Series race overall. I'm going to give this race overall a 9 out of 10. Enjoy this race for the most part. Great racing throughout the field. I thought this is definitely the best race I think Xfinity's almost had up to this point this year. A very good race in my opinion. Really solid race tonight. So that is going to be it for the NASCAR Xfinity Series race review from Martinsville. I want to thank guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Notifications on so if I win a video, does go live on my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and support my patron as well. Let's go below that and comment your thoughts below on tonight's race. What are your thoughts on tonight's race? Let me know below. Let me know your score in the comments below. And congratulate Eric on roll on picking up the victory. Let me your thoughts in the comments below. Later tonight on the channel, you're going to see the Shane Van Gisbergen video dropping here talking about how he performed. Then tomorrow on the channel, you're going to see the starting lineup video for the Cup race, and you also see the Cup Series race review as well. And there should be a NASCAR news video dropping on Monday. Got a ton of great content dropping on the channel that I cannot wait for you guys to check out. So anyways, like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching tonight's episode, and I'll see you guys next time for more great awesome NASCAR content and other motorsports content on the channel like this. Take care, everybody.